I have here a, a process dump of the dire banking uh, malware and I want to show you how you can uh, extract the configuration from uh, the memory. So let's uh, look at the strings. Okay, and here we have the start of uh, the configuration. These uh, are the servers that uh, will be used by the man, by the banking trojan for uh, the man in middling. And then here, following local items like this, you can see all uh, the online banks uh, that they target. So we have a L item here for a Bank of America, one for Citibank, one for NatWest and so on. So what I want to do now is from this uh, memory dump extract these uh, domains. And I'm going to use uh, my new tool, our research for that. Our research is like um, grep, except that instead of selecting lines, it will uh, select the matched uh, regular expression. So it's uh, like uh, grep minus O. So I'm going to search into the memory dump. Now, usually uh, our research works like uh, other uh, text uh, command line tools. It works on text, uh, line, text files line by line. But here we are dealing with a binary file, the memory dump. So we are going to read this file in one go, not uh, line by line. And we do that with option minus F for a full read. So and here I type regular expression to select the uh, elements uh, L item like this okay and uh, now I'm going to modify the regular expression to include white space so the carriage return and new line feeds uh, following uh, L item like this and now we know that after uh, L item we have the domain name so I'm going to type uh, a regular expression to uh, select the domain name. So domain name can be letters from A to Z, numbers from 0 to 9. It uh, can be a, a dot, an underscore. Here it can also be an asterisk and then finally uh, a dash. And this set of characters can occur uh, more than once. Okay, and you see like this now we have L item and uh, the different uh, domains. Now we only want the domains, not uh, the L item. And this you can do by using groups. So if you make a group for the domain, like this here, for the domain name, then our e-search will only match uh, for output the domain name. And it will not output the L item like this. So here we have uh, all the domain names. If we count them, we have uh, 1632 domains, but uh, they are not uh, all unique. And uh, with option minus u, minus u here, you can make this uh, unique like this so we have 683 unique uh, domains like this you can sort them uh, of course like this but then they are sorted as uh, normal strings so it's not very useful for domains to be uh, sorted uh, like normal strings it's uh, better that they are first listed by uh, sorted by the top domain the top level domain, then the domain, and then the subdomain, and so on. And that's something uh, we can do with another tool. The sort cannon. And we specify that we want to sort for domains like this. Okay, now you can see here uh, UK and South Africa as uh, last uh, domains. 